a tense afternoon in Memphis, Tennessee on May 25th. Police say a seven-year-old boy accidentally shot his nine-year-old brother. I see them when they come home from school. Well, when school was in, yes. See them all the time. It's heartbreaking. It really is. This has to stop. This has to stop. My kids have nightmares. This has to stop. Back in Kansas City, his mother, Crystal Lewis, is broken. I didn't have any strength anymore. I just knew that it was my time to get in the car and go to Memphis and get my other two. She brought her two children back to Kansas City after losing her son, Stephen Brunston Jr. But when I got them, they were explaining to me that there was guns everywhere in the house, not just in the area where he was able to reach that one. She says Stephen got the gun out and was showing it to his brothers. My youngest son ended up grabbing the gun and his older brother told him to put it down. In the process of him putting it down, he dropped it. My son was laying on the floor. Stephen died on the way to the hospital. Crystal says she wants to bring him home and have all her children back in Kansas City. And until I get justice, I will not give up. I will continue to fight no matter what states I got to keep continuing to fight in. The home the children were in was visited by police before, twice in the last three months, and a man, not the child's father, was arrested after an unrelated custody dispute. Lewis says she wished she knew what danger her children were in. With the selfish and carelessness that is going on out here, we're losing too many babies to gun violence. It needs to stop.